Good afternoon. It is Thursday. I'm here in Claremont today. I don't know how long I'm going to be out, but I don't I don't really have a goal or nothing. Um, I'm here at Subway for my first order. The whole way here, I only got one DoorDash order that they sent me twice. And it was um, for nine miles for $2.75. Y'all know I cannot do that. That is insane. And nine miles was supposed to be like the 475 so how is that even possible that's what i'm saying like doordash be lying um so i'm here for at subway for 2.6 miles for 675 not a bad order and the pickup time is in five minutes but i'm gonna just gonna go in and see if it's ready anyways so when i went in there they were like super busy so i was a little nervous that it wasn't going to be ready and it was ready so i'm very surprised they are on point in that store Heading for the drop-off and I only have two more miles to go. So for that order, I did get $7.75 and then I didn't get an order for a little bit. Let me see. I took that screenshot of the amount that I got at $12.15 and it is $12.48. I just pulled up to Over the Top Pita. I was sitting by BJ's because it said that Panda Express was a hot spot, but the orders that were coming from there it was three orders i think all together i didn't look at one of them because i'm like they're all trash anyways um the other one was a far one for no tip and then they added on something for even further so i'm like eh, ain't no way now i'm here over the top pita i was coming to this plaza because there's two different um there's a hibachi spots there's Publix overtop pita and there's New York Chinese so it's a few different ones plus there's crooked spoon in the front of the plaza that's not connected to the Publix plaza it's like in the front of it so a bunch of different places plus like 7-eleven gas station whatever so I'm about to head inside now let's see pick up by 1254 and it's 1249 now I'm getting an Instacart for Publix, 4.6 miles, one shop only, one shop and deliver, $11 for 15 items, 16 units. So I probably would have took that if I wasn't doing this over the top pedo order. It has been so long, so I'm like, you know what, let me go to Target and see if I can find this BTS magazine that Patience has been looking for. She's been wanting to buy it. And then when she wanted, then when she had money for it, she couldn't find it. So she settled and got a different BTS magazine. So I'm like, no, I'm not buying you a magazine. I'm not buying you a magazine. I'm not buying you a magazine. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just grab it while I'm out. So that way I can know, like I can make sure she gets it. But I did check the dates on them and they're supposed to be displayed for another month and then another three months. So... She should be good because I don't know which one she has because I, I really, it's a magazine, y'all. <laughs> $15 for a magazine. Um, so I'm like, all right, let me have Zai check her room and see which one she has and I'll grab the other one. You can't find the magazine anywhere. So I'm like, all right, well, I got to go. I took an order for Petco and Publix and I think after months of declining, like not taking them, I finally did take a a two different store order on Instacart. So one is for Petco for two items. The other one is for Publix and it's for like $27. Um, but I forget how many items. Let me tell y'all the over the top PETA went up to $7. So that's good. I wonder what they're making next to the Petco. Um, $27, 7.6 miles. Where's the item count? 20 items, 32 units, and two of the items are from Petco. So super easy at Petco usually, as long as they have the items. And I think it's 
dog food or something, which is fine. I can carry dog food, no issues. Uh, but I am here now, so let me run in and try and get this done. Hopefully I can get it done in like a minute because I did take a little long in Target when I took the order. So unfortunately, they got this weird brand of dog food, Taste of the Wild, that I've actually never heard of. Um, so I had to refund both the items. Um, so now I don't know what this order is going to be, if it's even going to be worth it. I'm trying to connect to an agent and see what they say to do. I'm a little upset because the tip was $14 and their items from Petco were super expensive, probably about $100 for two things. So... I don't know y'all I'm a, I'm a little upset so I got the first part um, the Petco all canceled the customer never called me back or anything I'm a, a little I'm, I'm a low-key I'm high-key upset because I don't know how much the Publix half is worth they said I'll still get the full batch incentive but of course I won't get any of the Petco tips if they had any I'm sure they did I mean, I guess I never know. I won't know until I get this order dropped off and see what I get for it. Um, but they said the batch incentive was like $10 and change. Let me go in my pictures and see what it says. No, my batch earnings says $13.54. So if I don't get the full $13, I'm going to go back in there and see. That's not right, because they said $10. I should have looked at it when I when I was talking to the lady. And then a $14 tip. And this Publix order is, they said, let's see, 18 items, 30 units. But now it says 18, oh yeah, it still says 18 items, 30 units. So that's good. Same amount of items, it didn't go up. Um but I am here at Publix, so I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. I'm just gonna hit start shopping like right when I get in there. That way I can um, get the aisle numbers and get it done faster. Oh man, y'all. And it's so much more mileage too. Cause it's just one order. So if it's just one order, are you stealing my spot? I raced over here to get that spot. Yeah, they stole my spot. Oh, man. Uh-oh, watch out, lady. That van gonna hit you. So, that the time they gave me was like 24 minutes, and I think I finished right on time just because I had to message the customer um, quite a few times, but she was pretty responsive. At the end, she said her kids took her phone, but she said the one that I grabbed was fine because the picture was of the white bag of the tortilla chips, but they have a white bag and a yellow bag, and she put in her little notes that if they don't have that one to grab the flower one, so I'm thinking maybe she wants the yellow bag. She didn't message me back, so I still grabbed the white bag and she ended up saying that it was okay, um, but I was already in the process of checking out. So good thing she said that, that was fine. Of course, when I was in line, I saw that it was pouring and now I'm driving into the sun, but I'm about to turn now, so I'm still gonna get a little bit wet. It didn't matter, I got soaked anyways, and it had like just started to rain. The rain just, it fell so hard so quick that I got all wet. My hat is soaked, my socks are soaked, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to wear, um, turn here. I'm just gonna wear my sandals because I can just take my socks off. I forgot I, I didn't want to be wearing no socks, but oh well, I guess. 2.41, 2.41, I'm here to drop this off, so I am going to head out, y'all, so I can try and get this dropped off before it starts to pour. Oh man, y'all, their sodas were super soggy. I messaged them to let them know that they were soggy, so hopefully they don't just try to grab it from the little handle section because the bat the boxes will totally rip um literally it was pouring 
when I left this store. And now it's raining over here a little harder. It looks like it's traveling this way. Um, but I got $19.65 for that order and I did get the $13 of the batch earnings. So maybe the $3 was for this half of the order. I don't know how that works. Um, so I just have to make a Yui and then head back the other way to try and get some orders. I have DoorDash on. I actually, I don't know when my DoorDash ends. I just tried to get on one because my dash ended earlier and it was rough. I didn't get any orders until I got that one and then I was able to hit dash now right before I took that double Instacart order. It didn't work out in my favor anyways. I'm missing like $8 from that order because of that. So it is what it is y'all. All right, you guys. So for this Thursday, I was not out very long. I think because of the storm, it was just super slow. Um, but my first order, y'all, I can't even read the computer. <laughs> and it's right in front of me. Um, but yeah, super slow. I see one, two, one, two, three, maybe four orders that I did. So y'all know it was slow. I think I was like moving around from Publix to Publix, not getting anything. DoorDash was probably super slow, couldn't get on very many. Um, my only issue I think I had besides the rain soaking the person's groceries where like the soda was literally waterlogged. Um, but uh, was the one order for the Petco and Publix where Petco ended up not having either of the customer's items. Customer didn't answer the phone. They didn't message me in the chat. So I had to get a hold of support so they could cancel the order and just still give me the batch pay. So it kind of wasted a little bit of my time, but not too much time because as soon as I, you know, I, I knew what was going on, I started driving to Publix because I'm like, I'm not just going to sit here, you know? And I did end up getting the full $13 batch pay, which was good. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's a super short one, and I will see you guys in my next one. Have a great day, y'all. A young boy being in a dream. And in the dream... <laughs>